What's going on, everybody? Shooter here or Ryan. I'm going to go by Ryan for now, but got another life topic, another bit of realization for you, a little bit of me, a little bit of you. We've got questioning, questions, questioning things in life, reality, thinking about them, okay? You always question things in life, whether it's your place, your being, what you're put here to do, what you're going to do here, how all of that works and how all of it goes down okay whether it's you know questioning your purpose why am i here why do i why, what's the reason for me to get out of bed today and uh and rock it out what's going on with that how does that work why am i going to do that how is this going to happen and 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 whatnot all right so thinking about them okay why are you questioning these things? When you question a relationship or what's going on with you related to a person, an event, a life, what you're doing, work, school, anything, why do you question it? Okay, I've come to a somewhat of a realization that I know the answer to my question, but for some reason, I'm still questioning it. I'm still questioning even though I have the answer. Now, do I not want to accept the answer even though there's nothing wrong with the answer? Why do I not just roll with that answer? Why do I want another answer? What's the reason behind that? Why do I want another answer? How come I can't just be okay with the first answer? Why is that the way it is? Why is that working like that? How does that work? Why is that going down like that? All right? Thinking. Then really thinking. All right? You think you're thinking about something, but are you really thinking about it? Is that really what's going on up there? Is that really what's floating around up there? Are you actually thinking about what you're thinking at? Are you thinking about the truth and the reality behind it? Or are you just somewhat thinking about it? Are you kind of thinking about it? Do you kind of want to know? Do you kind of want to talk about it? When you think about things and they pertain to people or something or a person or life or anything, the best way to go about thinking about them is to find that one person or that one way to have it out and talk about it, whether it's writing it down talking it out with one other person, understanding it. You have to come to peace and understanding with it if you're going to go and do anything with it. You have to come to peace and understanding with it. If you're not coming to peace and understanding with it, then you're not really thinking about it. You don't want to know the answer to it. When you think or question about something, you should want to know the answer. If you don't want to know the answer, then don't think or question it. Just roll with it. Okay? You have to be willing to to accept the answer when the answer comes if you're questioning or thinking about something, regardless of what it is or how it works. About the important things that really matter, decisions, okay? Decisions matter, important things matter, okay? A lot of people, as you grow and you find yourself, I always say it, I always will say it, you have to find yourself in life, find what you want, what's going to make you happy, what's going to make you, you. You have to find out all that before all of this makes any sense, before you can do all this and actually find the answers and the truth behind it. If you're not doing that, you won't be able to find the truth and the answers behind all these different things. You just won't, it just won't be able to happen. So, you know, important things. You, let's say happiness. That's an important thing. Happiness pertaining to something, okay? Um, I've seen recently kind of the different ways people can be happy and how they go about getting it. You know what I mean? And... If you're in something in a way that's making you not happy, but you're lying to yourself and saying to yourself that you're happy when deep down, deep, deep down inside of you, you're not happy. You're lying to yourself. You're not questioning the right things and thinking about the right things. You're living a lie. If you're not happy, you're living that lie, that lie of life. You might not be doing it because you don't know why you're doing it in a way, but you are. And a lot of people are doing it for the acceptance game. You know what the acceptance game in is? The acceptance game is simply doing things and being involved with things and people just in a way to make yourself feel accepted by other people and make other people in a way look at you and smile at you, think that they appreciate you, that they want to talk to you and get to know you and all that kind of stuff. You know what I mean? A lot of people try to fill voids in their life with people, and they don't want to get out of that void with that person, even though they're not happy with it, because they don't want to lose the void. They have to have that void filled in their life in a way, because they don't have the real meaning of that void. They don't have that in their life, so they have to find something to fill it. And when they have it, they're afraid to give it up, because they're afraid that they can't get it back. You know? Um... It's just, it's just how it goes, all right? 
Okay. It's all a men it's all mental. All a mental state. Think it, believe it, know it. That comes when it comes in line to anything in life. A dream, a relationship, a person, a job, anything. You can be anything you want to be in life, but you have to be willing to take the steps to get there. Whether it's excelling in school, building through the stress of a a job, or not being able to see someone as much as you want, or just the way it, things pertain to life. You have to be able to fight and build through that you have to be able to do it mentally. You have to be, it's all a mental game. Everything is up there in your mind. You have to be able to battle through it, okay? If you think you know why you're questioning something, it's let's say in a way pertaining to relationship, I'm not seeing you every day. I'm not seeing you as often as I'd like. When you know that that's the way it's going to be going in, you're signing up for that. You can't question it or question the way things are because of that you have to be able to roll with it accept it get used to it not guess about it or say i guess i have to get used to it no you have to know that's the way it's going to be because you you yourself signed up for that when you got jumped on board of this you signed up for it you signed up for the stress of that job you signed up for working five or seven days a week and working eight hours eight to ten hours a day you signed up for that that's what you wanted you can't go back on that you have to find a way out of it. You can't go back on it, though. It's the what you chose. It's what you wanted. You've done it before, so why is it is now different? How can you tell? I don't remember where I was going with that when I wrote it down. You got side note here. Relationships. You've done something in a relationship before, so why is it any different now, I guess? Um, whether it's filling the void, you know, spending time with people. See, like I said, a lot of people try to fill that void, so they want to spend a lot of time. They want to be close to you all the time. They just enjoy that. That's not the way to be, in my opinion. You have to find yourself. You have to be alone. You have to challenge yourself to be alone. You have to be able to find and define who you are in life. You have to make it out to be who you want to be, who you are. You have to find you and be you and do you. Despite what everyone else is saying, what else is going on, you have to be able to find you and do you. It's all mental state. You cannot bring other people into your life and try to be close to them and try to help them if you have not yet helped yourself. Okay? You have to become at peace and at will with yourself before you can go out there and help other people and venture out there and try to make other people's lives better. First, you have to make sure that you're okay, that you're doing what's best and right for you. You have to take the time to realize that you have to put yourself first once and make sure that you're all right. Make sure that you're really happy. Don't lie to yourself and tell yourself that you're not happy. You have to be happy. Thinking about too much. Okay. Next to it. Oh, wait. Never mind. Here we go. Uh, how my mind and the attitude, way of thinking is 10 to 20 years above everyone. I brought that up in the whole relationships thing. How I said that I'm more serious than other people and I look for more serious things than a lot of other people do. And that is very, very true. I, My mind is 10 to 20 years above everybody else's. And what I want and how I look at things and the way I talk, the way I believe, the things I want, what I want to do, everything. It's all ahead of everybody. And a lot of people can't grasp it. A lot of people can't understand it. A lot of people don't want to understand it. It's hard to find people that think the way you think or are open to even hearing and talking about thinking and the different ways things can work and how the different mindsets of people are. It's very hard to find people that want to talk about that kind of things because a lot of people don't want to talk about life and the way things are going to be a year from now after high school, after college even. In all honesty, I've seen life doesn't even start till after college. College is like another four years of high school, except it's a little bit harder. It's a little bit harder and a lot more commitment because you're actually paying to go to school. So you have to make it worth your while since you're the one who's doing the paying. Thinking about too much at my my age. I don't know if that goes with everything else above that or whatnot. But thinking about too much, okay? It always comes to a point where you have days where you seem like you're thinking about nothing. And other days, there's so much rolling around up there. But you don't always have it. You always default to talking about one specific thing. And you say, I don't know. I don't know why I'm thinking this then why are you thinking it? Why are you questioning it? If you can't tell me why, if you don't know what's really up there, then obviously you're not questioning anything. You're really not thinking about anything. You're just thinking that you are because you want to think about something. Sometimes in life, you don't need to think about anything. 
You don't need to have anything floating around up there. You need to just be at peace and at will with everything around you, with the people, the world, everything that's going on in life. You have to be one with it all and just let it go. A lot all the time, okay? Talking openly about what you're thinking about with someone. If you're thinking about something or someone and it pertains to them and what's going on with them and you, you should be able to openly talk about it and not say, I don't know. I don't know how I stand with this. I don't know why this is the way it is. Why am I, you know what I mean? I don't know what got into me, man. Why am I thinking, what, what's going on? No. Just say what's there. I've had to work on that a lot. It's been very difficult for me for some reason, to be who I always say to be when it comes to saying what's there, saying what you want to say, and saying what's on your mind. For some reason, I don't know why that's been so hard for me. Because I always push it, and I make it seem so easy. You know, maybe because with some people it is easy to do. With other people it's not. But if the people matter, and you care about them enough, and you think they care about you, they will understand, they will, they will want to hear you out and what you think. You know what I mean? Everyone's different when it comes to looking for certain things. But when you sign... And you jump on board of something. You have to know what you're signing on board of. You have to be willing to adapt to it. Accept it. Make the best of the time you have, not the time you don't have. If you want more time, you have to go out there and get it. You can't say, I miss you, I want to do more, and then not act on it. You can't rely on the other person to do it. They might have other things on their table right now. If you're saying it, you have to act on it. Actions need equal words. If you want something, go out there and get it. If it involves someone else, you have to get them on board. You have to be the one to initiate it. You can't wait for them to initiate it. You have to be the one. It doesn't matter if you're a guy or a girl or anything or how it stands. That's just what you have to do. You have to do it for you and for them. Because in the end, it means way more to them than you could ever imagine. It really does. It's just how it is. What do you question and why? Okay? Brought this up at the very, very beginning. Why are you questioning these things? Why are you questioning them? Why am I questioning this relationship? Why is it the way it is? Why am I questioning decisions I have to make? Why am I questioning life? If you're still questioning life, you have not hit the bottom. You have not worked to understand life and what it really is. You have worked to understand parts of life, the things that you have maybe experienced, maybe certain things, but you have not had the desire to go out there and find the true meaning of it and find what's really out there. Just bits, pieces, and parts of it. That's just how it is. That's just life. What are you going to do about it? You have to do something about it. Okay? You have to know why you're questioning things. If you don't know why you're questioning things, then why question them in the first place? Why puzzle and trouble yourself with these things? Go out there and get a result. Go out there and get what you want. Don't sit back and question and wonder why I can't and cannot have it. Go out there and get it. Go out and get what you're worth. Do what you want to do. What things are, if they're, what do you think, are they serious? Okay, I don't even know what that means. I really don't. Okay? But, it's just, ah. <sighs> What things are, okay, when you're thinking and questioning things, you question what things are. You know, is this real? Am I giving this my all? Is this really what I want to do and where I want to be right now? You know, why are you questioning this? Why are you doing this? You know? Are they serious? Are you being as serious in this as I am? You're saying, can I, I can't read you. You have to tell me. But I know from the past that you tell me that you're happy and that that's the way it is. Even though I know from what you've told me in the past that you probably aren't happy because you lie to yourself about it. You make yourself out to be happy and that you're getting what you want and getting your worth. But really you're not. Really you're not. But maybe you've hit that point where you're done with that. But I can't tell. I can't read it. And then when I try to talk about it, you don't know either. You're uncertain about it. You can't lie to me and tell me that you're happy or that you're not happy. Because I know from the past that you've said that you aren't happy. So how do I know now is different? How do I know you're a different person, a changed person? How do I know? What are the right things to question after so long 
should you develop an understanding, truth, reality, or reason for it? Okay, that's fair enough. How do you know you're questioning the right things? After so long of questioning something, someone or something, you need to come to a understanding of it. You have to have a grasp on it. After a while of questioning the same thing, you need to come to peace with it, a reality, a truth of it, whether it's talking to the thing, the, the person about it, talking to the people that are involved in it. But you have to come to peace with it. You can't be questioning it for too long because then you're doing more harm than good. You're hurting yourself by not showing what's really going on and what's there. All right? When are you really questioning things? I've brought that up multiple times. How do you know you're really questioning and thinking about something? How do you know that's really what's going on up there? Are you really questioning that or thinking about that? Or are you just wanting to question or think about something? No, maybe you just want to question it. Are you really questioning it to question it? Is it really something to question? Because then when you talk about it and you have that and you're just like, I don't know. I don't know what it is. Then in a way you don't, you're not really seeking to answer the question if you don't know. You're not willing to sit there, trouble yourself and palsy yourself and put your mind in that place to really think about what's there and what's going on. You don't want to know. You don't want to see what's going on up there and what's rocking. You don't want to. But you still bring it up for some reason. Why is that? Why are you doing that to yourself and to the other person? How does that work? When is there too much questioning slash thinking? When is it too much? Shut up, you timer. Shut up. When are you doing this and it's harmful? When is it too much? When can you not handle it? When does it start to take its toll and bring you down to the bottom? How do you know when it's too much and it's taking you down to the bottom? How do you know what that is? Oh, look at this. Doing wrong to do right, not to do wrong. I don't even know if that pertains to that. It was a side note. What is this? Side notes? Me in life, I act stupid sometimes. I disobey rules or things that I was told. But I do it not to do wrong by the ruler, right? But to do right in something else. To try to get my job done. To try to make someone else happy. To try to to do the time thing. You know what I mean? I don't do wrong to do wrong. I do wrong to do right. You know? I try to be truthful with people. Not to hurt their feelings. But to just tell them what's there. That's how you... That's the easiest way to find a strong person in life. Because you'll know if they can accept the truth. And they can be one with it. You'll know that when you see them and when you can tell them the truth. You'll know if they're at peace and at will with it. You'll know for yourself and for them if that's really what's going on. If that's really true, you will know. I promise you that. Sending indirect messages and signals. When you bring up something in a conversation with someone at one point, um, anything, and then the next day or the couple days after that, something else comes up that kind of... Um, relates back to it you know and it makes you thinking about what they said before so you're bringing this up does that mean what you were saying before does that mean that's going on is that what you're th is that what's is that an is that indirect or is that direct how are you not how do you know how are you sure about these things how do you know for yourself what's going on how is all this floating around all right that's all i got written down for that uh, that was just purely out of the one book, too. But when it comes to thinking and questioning things, you have to have a reason to question and think about things. Whether it's thinking about anything, whether it's thinking about you, someone else, life, work, people, school, education, family. When you're thinking about them, most of the time, you don't always think about it or want to say it. But you're trying to know what the other person's thinking. What they think about you, what they think about life, what they think about What's just going on right now? You want to know that, but you don't want to ask it. And then sometimes when you feel like you do ask it or you do try to offer it up, the person won't tell you. Why won't they tell you what's going on? Why, now that you're trying to do this, are they not telling you, per se, what you thought that they wanted you to talk to them about? Why is that? How does that work? All these things you have to find your own meaning to. I can only jar your mind and your memory of all of this. You have to go out there, talk to the people, 
find out who you are, and do this all for yourself. This is all about you. Life is just a big game with a lot of side routes and shortcuts in it. You have to take the game seriously and be willing to play the game. Play the game to the best of your ability. Okay? Life's full of downs and ups. Just make sure when you're questioning things and thinking about things, you're thinking about the right things. You're questioning things for the right reasons, not just because you want to question them. And then when you do question them, don't say, I don't know. Because you do know. That's why you questioned it. And if you don't know, then really you weren't questioning anything. You were just trying to think of something. Give yourself something to come out about. Something to blab on for or about. You know, that's from me to you. That's what I think. That's how I see this big game. It's all a game. So make sure that you question the right things and think about the right things. Get your priorities straight. Be who you are. Find you and be you. Remember that. That's what it's all about, kids. All right? I'm 10 to 20 years mentally above everybody. I'm not talking down to anybody. Nothing. I'm just trying to help. I'm just trying to give my two cents out there so maybe someone will find it and it'll be able to help them in a way. Because I am still like you, regardless of what I say or think. But thanks, everybody, for listening. I'll catch you next time. And go out there and think and do the right things. Take that, freak man.